Hey guys, Sleepy here. Welcome to a new pickup video. We'll start off with some thrift store finds. First up, I hit up the uh, village the other day, and I did manage to find a little stack of games there. Unfortunately, when I was going through that stack, a majority of the discs were missing. and found out that somebody had came through and actually stole the discs, uh, which sucks. You know, that's one of my biggest pet peeves when it comes to uh, game hunting at uh, thrift stores. It's when you find something awesome, you open up and find the disc was stolen. Uh, I think that's a uh, really terrible thing that people do. I mean, I know a lot of people are upset with Goodwills, other thrift stores when they overprice stuff. I mean, I do as well, but that still does not justify uh, you going in there and actually stealing the game. Uh, you know, if you really want the game, you should pay for it. And if you don't like that it's price high, then just don't pay for it and leave it. That doesn't give you a right to go in there and steal uh, game discs. And that's one thing that just absolutely uh, pisses me off is when people go into stores and steal from it and think it's okay because you think the uh, Goodwill CEO steals money so it's okay for you to go into a Goodwill store and just steal stuff, you know, I mean, that's just not right, you know. Uh, two wrongs don't make a right. Just because something else uh, you think is doing bad thing doesn't mean you should go in there and do that as well, so. Just had to get off my chest, you know, I just absolutely hate that and I think it's terrible. Uh, but I did get one game and that was a copy of The Sims 2 for the original Xbox. I uh, picked it up because it's in really good condition, and it was complete, and hey, for two bucks, you know, I'm not going to say no. I can always uh, trade this into one of my game stores for uh, more than two bucks, so that's definitely a win. Alright, I uh, got a couple games at the uh, Goodwill. This first one here, I hadn't heard of it. I did look up some gameplay uh, after I got it, and a couple of reviews said it's kind of a boring-ish, dumb racer game, but I thought, you know... I, for two bucks, I'd check it out, and that was a copy of ATV Racers. Unfortunately, no manual, but the disc's really nice. Case is in good condition, too, so I grabbed that. Uh, they had a couple of GameCube titles, which, you know, it's been a while since I've seen uh, anything Nintendo at a thrift store, so I grabbed them. And the first one was a copy of Donkey Konga 2, and this thing's, like, brand new. Unfortunately, it's missing a manual, but the disc's, like, brand new. Uh, but I do have a good uh, seller on eBay that I buy from. Uh, who sells manuals and artwork and cases and stuff, so I'll pick one up from him sometime. And I got that for two bucks. Other GameCube title I got was a copy of uh, Driven, which the uh, case is a little beat up. But that's alright, it's a racer game, I want to try it out. Unfortunately, again, missing the manual, but the disc is nice. And I got that for two bucks. And the last thing the Goodwill had was a PlayStation 2 uh, Slim console, it was a gray one. Uh, they had it bagged up. It was only 12 bucks. Hard to say no for $12, and it does work. I tested it out. Unfortunately, the controllers that came with it are kind of crap. Like this one here, you can see it's ripped, plus it's a tiny game sub one, so I'll probably just toss that out. Uh, it does have the power cord, which is awesome, because these cost more than $12 at my game stores as it is, so that's a good win there. Uh, this silver uh, PS2 controller, it works, but the uh, cord's really cut up, so I'm just going to actually... Uh, swap this with one of my black uh, controllers and just have another silver one because I like the silver one looks really cool so I got that AV cord and of course the uh, system which is in really nice condition it's awesome dust free doesn't even look like it's been used much you know so for 12 bucks very happy to add another uh, slim PS2 to my collection get all this out of the way Now we'll move on to stuff from the game stores. Um, picking up more original Xbox titles. Uh, I'm now uh, going after a subset. I, you know, I want to get all the Platinum Hits version of games. And a lot of people don't like Platinum Hits Greatest Hits copies, but for me, you know, I want the full Xbox set for North America, and I want to also get the variants, which are the Platinum Hits ones. So we'll start off that first one I got was uh, Platinum Family Hits version of Dance Dance Revolution Ultra Mix. Great condition. Complete. Paid a dollar for that. Copy of uh, Splinter Cell. Complete. Paid two fifty. dollars uh, Best of Platinum Hits. Copy of Ghost Recon. Complete. Paid $2.50 for that one. Uh, Project Gotham Racing. Awesome series. If you haven't played it, you definitely should. Great racing game. It is complete. Paid two fifty dollars for that. Uh, Platinum Hits version of Greg Hastings Tournament Paintball. Uh, missing the manual, but that's alright. I'll pick it up on uh, eBay. It is complete. Got that for $250. Uh, ATV2 Quad Power Racing. Missing the manual. Got that for $5. Uh, Amped uh, Freestyle Snowboarding. Very fun game. If you guys like snowboarding games, definitely recommend the Amped series. Really cool. Complete. 
A5 for that. A copy of Hitman 2 Silent Assassin. Hitman series is awesome. Hitman 2 is uh, really good. Another one I would recommend to play. Complete. Pay $5 for that. A uh, copy of Prince of Persia, Sands of Time. Love the Prince of Persia games. And uh, this one is a really cool game. Definitely uh, recommended on PS2 or Xbox. Really cool. Complete. Pay 5 bucks for that. Copy of uh, Test Drive. Complete. Paid five dollars for that one. And the last game from the game stores was a copy of Ghost Recon Island Thunder. That one's complete as well, and five bucks. So nice way to start off. Start off my uh, Platinum Hits collection. Now we'll move on to uh, the rest of the stuff here. Our games I got off of eBay. Some more Platinum Hits titles, and then we'll end with the last four titles that I need to complete my Xbox collection. First up, I got a copy of uh, Dead or Alive Three. Uh, I was a little uh, dinged up here, but it is complete. The disc is nice, other than the stupid marker there, which I'll take off. Uh, but it was really hard to say no for four bucks, so I got that. A uh, copy of uh, Spy Hunter. And that's complete. Uh, paid five bucks for that one. Had a copy of uh, Mech Assault. Uh, it was five dollars. The guy had said it was complete. Uh, unfortunately, he, did, he thought this was the manual for it. So he uh, actually refunded me uh, two bucks. So really, it was only three dollars. So I'll use that uh, two dollars, and I'll just buy uh, the manual on eBay to complete it. So I got that. Uh, next up, got a copy of uh, Counter Strike Platinum Hits. Complete. Paid seven bucks for that. Very fun title. I would recommend that. It's pretty cool. A uh, copy of Mortal Kombat uh, Deadly Alliance. This is a really fun uh, Mortal Kombat game. Has some cool bonus stuff. Definitely, uh, if you love Mortal Kombat, if you haven't tried it out, you should check it out. It's good. It's complete. Got that for seven bucks. Also got a copy of uh, WWE Raw. I haven't played this in years, but I remember that it wasn't that great. But I'm gonna have to pop it in again here and check it out. Uh, it is complete. I got that for seven bucks. Also got a copy of uh, Silent Hill 2: Restless Dreams. Got the uh, Platinum Hits version here. Great condition. Got that for uh, $12. Absolutely love this game. Uh, number one's my favorite, uh, then number two. Uh, this is a great one. If you haven't uh, played the Restless Dreams version, you should, because this has extra stuff for the Xbox. You get to play as Maria. There's more secrets revealed, new areas, weapons, items, enhanced graphics, and lighting effects. Definitely uh, worth picking up if you have the Xbox and you haven't played this version yet. Very fun title. And now, guys, we'll move on to the last four titles that I need to complete my collection. So happy to finally have my Xbox set complete. And the first one here was a copy of uh, Rogue Trooper, which I had this on PS2, but I did not know there was an Xbox version until I saw it online. So I picked it up. It is complete. Really nice condition, too. Doesn't even look like it's been played. And I got that for 9 bucks. I also got a copy of Splinter Cell Chaos Theory, the uh, limited collector's edition. With the slip cover and the uh, metal case, which I absolutely love these metal cases, especially on the uh, Xbox, like the uh, Doom 3 1 and the Halo 2 Collector's Edition. They're really cool. I love steel books. Has the uh, manual. Both this are scratch free. Don't even look like they've been played. So that was awesome. I uh, paid nine bucks for that. So very happy to knock that one off the list. Uh, this next one here has been an extremely difficult title for me to find. And that was a copy of Crash Super Pack. It was two Crash games, Nitro Kart and Crash Bandicoot Wrath the Cortex. Very few of these are on eBay, and usually when they are, it's always miss missing the uh, Crash uh, Nitro Kart disc. But I found someone who didn't have one missing. Excellent condition. Has both manuals, the English one and the French one. Both discs are nice, and I paid 20 bucks for that. And then the funny thing is, I was at the game store the other day, and I ran into another copy for the same price, 20 bucks. So, you know, for that, I'm not going to leave it behind. Picked it up. Also in good condition and complete. And then uh, when I was paying for this, uh, real good friends uh, with the owner. And he said they actually had another copy there, which is this one. But he was unable uh, to sell it because he had sold it at first. Someone returned it because the disc for uh, Crash Nitro Kart doesn't work. Uh, he had resurfaced it with his machine and everything. But there's a gouge in it, so he wasn't able to sell it. He was trying to sell it as just... Uh, crash uh, Bandicoot Rat the Cortex, but he said no one really wanted it, so he brought it down to five bucks. I told him, hell, I'd pick it up for five bucks just for the case and manual. 
And he said, you know, he said, you know, you come in here all the time, you spend money here and stuff, so you can just have it. So he gave it to me for free, so that's cool. So I have two fully working copies and then one that has half a copy, but at least, you know, I have the case and manual in case someone else might need a case for theirs or they might need a manual or maybe they just need the Wrath one. I'm keeping one for me and then I got a good buddy uh, here that I know would be interested in this, so I'm going to save this for him, so that's cool. So very happy to knock those off. Uh, if you ever find them, you know, pick them up. Really hard title to find. I rarely see more than maybe one or two on eBay at a time. And then this last one, to finally complete my Xbox collection. I've been after this for quite some time now. I see it occasionally at my game stores, but they always want 90 to 100, 120 even sometimes. And that's a copy of Halo Triple Pack. And this thing is like new. Really good condition. A little beat up here and there. But the... Uh, the games themselves are like new. It's just amazing the condition of it. So very happy to have that. It came with uh, Halo Platinum Hits version. I mean, you can see this thing is like new. I don't even think this thing's ever been played. I mean, that's how mint they are. So happy uh, that that's what condition they are in. Also has uh, Halo 2 in it. And finally, the Halo 2 multiplayer map pack. Now, that did cost me $50, but, you know, uh, that's hell of a deal. For something uh, like this that's really uncommon and in this practically new condition you know definitely uh, glad to get that now that my Xbox collection is complete you know I'm gonna be working on getting manuals you know I have a few titles that are missing manuals that I've got over the years so I'm gonna track those down to get my games complete then I'm gonna work on completing my platinum hit subset for the Xbox and then I'll be done with the original Xbox I mean I want to get some of the PAL and Jap exclusive titles but with the way international shipping is, I'm going to really only pick them up if they're cheap. You know, I don't want to buy a game for 5 bucks and pay 15 or $20 to ship it here. You know, that's just not worth it to me. So if I can find them locally, I'm going to do that. But if not, you know, it won't be a big deal. All right, I want to thank you guys for watching. Be sure to check out my Facebook page, facebook.com slash AsianSleepy1. You guys can also check out my Weebly page. That's where I keep track of my growing video game collection. And I love to hear from you guys, so... Uh, let me know what you guys have been picking up lately. Alright, take care. Have a wonderful day. Sleepy will see you guys next time.